Good morning uh, and good afternoon. My name is Sigrid Sotl and I'm Senior Financial Sector Specialist at the World Bank. I'm also the task team lead of the Nigeria Women Entrepreneurship Finance Initiative. And the main objective of the Nigeria Initiative is actually um, to address one of the biggest challenges women entrepreneurs are facing in the country, which is lack of access to capital. Um, a recent World Bank study um, revealed that 52% of women entrepreneurs identified access to finance as a key constraint um, to expanding the business, which compares to only 30% of um, the male counterparts. And this gender gap in access to finance is actually seven times as large as the average in Sub-Saharan Africa. When women entrepreneurs apply for a loan, they are also much more likely than male entrepreneurs to get rejected. As you can see on the figure on the right side of the slide, 56% of loan applications submitted by women um, got rejected, which compares to only 17% of um, applications submitted by male entrepreneurs. So why is this the case? The answer is simple, um, because most loans in Nigeria are secured by traditional forms of collateral, like land and houses, which um, women entrepreneurs typically lack. Because of social norms, marriage practices, and inheritance practices, only 10% of landowners are women. And this leaves women entrepreneurs without the means to secure a loan and limits their ability to start and grow a business. In addition to the collateral challenge, um, there are also capacity constraints, um, not only on the side of women entrepreneurs, um, but also on the side of financial institutions. So to tackle um, this key challenge of um, lack of access to finance, um, the World Bank team has been partnering with local institutions, such as um, the Development Bank of Nigeria and Access Bank, uh, which is the biggest bank in the country and also has a large um, regional footprint, in developing and piloting a so-called digital cash flow-based lending product. And that um, digital cash flow based lending product um, is based on a very comprehensive and nationwide um, needs assessment. It does not rely on traditional forms of collateral, but it substitutes collateral requirements with business cash flow information to assess the credit worthiness of women entrepreneurs. Also, since it's digital, it can easily be accessed um, by women. Um, uh, from the comfort of the homes through an online platform. And that product was launched very timely last year in June, in the middle of the COVID pandemic. And being disproportionately affected by economic disruptions of the COVID-19 crisis, um, the new product um, really helped um, women entrepreneurs in um, increasing their resilience and in managing um, demand side shocks resulting from the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And since the launch of the pilot phase, the digital cash flow based lending product um, has delivered nearly 1400 loans to women entrepreneurs, exceeding program targets by 40% in less than a year. And um, the product has helped women entrepreneurs such as Animokun Ololade, um, who is the founder and creative director of Face Talk Beauty? Um, because Fanny Mokon really struggled um, in scaling her business without any additional financing uh, due to the strict collateral requirements. And thanks to the digital cash flow lending product, Fanny Mokon was able to open up another outlet and hire additional staff. As um, a next step, we are launching an impact evaluation to see if the product is not only commercially viable, um, but also if it really helps women entrepreneurs with access to a product um, in terms of um, creating employment and growth. Um, in parallel, we're also trying um, to scale up the product um, in Nigeria by further improving um, the efficiency of the digital lending platform and also for an inf informational um, text messaging campaign to increase responsible uptake among women entrepreneurs, in particular in rural areas. Um, we also, in the process of finalizing uh, capacity building packages for bank staff um, to address any kind of potential um, gender biases 
and also for women entrepreneurs to help them increase their credit worthiness uh, and to be able to access the product, which now became available. And um, yeah, last but not least, um, we are also um, conducting a scoping study to explore potential expansion um, to other countries in the region, uh, like Ghana and Cerro. That's it in a nutshell. Thank you so much for your interest. And um, if you have any questions, um, I'm more than happy to respond to them during the member sharing session. Thank you.